Hello and welcome. You're watching CNN News 18 with me, Arun Dhanta. Let's start this bulletin with a breaking news at the top. In a bid to enhance its space-based surveillance capabilities, India launched EOS-09, the 101 satellite by Indian Space Research Organization at 5.59 a.m. this morning. Now, ISRO chief in a press briefing said that the first and the second phases were normal, but the third phase encountered certain problems due to which the EOS-9 mission could not be accomplished and that ISRO will come back after analysis, US-09 is designed to provide continuous and reliable remote sensing data for operational applications across various sectors. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Today, we attempted a launch of PSLV C-61 vehicle. Uh, the vehicle is a four-stage vehicle. First two stages performed as expected and uh, during the third stage, it's a solid motor system. Uh, they, we are seeing observation uh, the motor pressure, there was a fall in the chamber pressure of the motor case and, we are, and the mission could not be accomplished. We are studying the entire performance. We shall come back at the earliest. Thank you. All right, there you heard the ISRO chief saying that the mission was not uh, accomplished. Of course, they will be going into the technicalities of it as to why this happened. My colleague uh, Srishti is with us on the phone line. Srishti, uh, tell us more about uh, this uh, failure, why this happened, what caused this? Uh, yeah, uh, good morning, Arun. So, uh, as the ISRO chief said, uh, I mean, uh, they, uh, the team is going to study why it, uh, the issue, like what really uh, happened. Uh, but what we get to know is that there was some issue with the third stage of the rocket. The first two stages performed very uh, perfectly. Uh, we'll get to know more once the analysis is uh, completed by the ISRO team. But uh, we all must understand that this was the 63rd flight of the PSLV. PSLV is ISRO's workhorse, uh, work, uh, horse, and it has performed uh, beautifully in the past. Uh, there have been a few issues in the past, but they have also been uh, overcome by ISRO. So I'm confident that the ISRO team will definitely work out what the, uh, the problem was this time and uh, come back with an explanation about the challenge it faced with the third stage. So it's very difficult to actually say what actually happened right uh, with this launch, but... Uh, uh, this was, uh, just to tell our viewers, this was the launch of the Earth Observation Satellites. And uh, the ISRO team continues to send Earth Observation Satellites to really amp up our remote sensing capabilities in uh, space. And if the mission had gone as planned, then this satellite would have, uh, you know, functioned in space for the next five years. The mission life was five years and provided uh, very crucial data for uh, remote sensing, Earth observation, or for, uh, crucial for various sectors. And Srishti, uh, what could be the impact of uh, this, uh, this failure on the future mission, if you can share some details on that? Uh, yes, Arun. So, uh, what I understand is that, uh, see, uh, this uh, satellite, it's, it's, it's a regular launch because uh, ISRO has a, a satellite constellation for remote sensing capability. So, this would have definitely provided that benefit right uh, soon after it got, you know, uh, if, if it got injected in the right orbit. But since it did not go as planned, I'm sure ISRO will come back and try to launch uh, the satellite at the earliest. They'll return to the launch pad and, you know, uh, carry out this uh, uh, launch. So uh, uh, I, I'm sure that this is not something that would really get delayed for a very long time. And as I was telling you, this is an Earth observation satellite. And ISRO has about, I think, 10 satellites currently uh, uh, operational in Space, which are providing those uh, important data. And it comes at a very strategic time as well because of the uh, situation that prevailed over the last uh, two to three weeks. Uh, uh, that is why. And uh, we have a lot of, uh, uh, we have launched, uh, we have had many successful launches from PSLV. So it doesn't really uh, put questions on the capability of the rocket as such. Uh, because PSLV, this was the 63rd flight of the PSLV. And also to be noted is that this was the one, uh, we have, ISRO has already completed 100 launches 
from Sri Hari Kota. So that also speaks of the capability of our space agency. Uh, but there could be certain issues, and like the ISRO chief has said, that they'll come back with the analysis very soon. So we'll get to know a little more about what happened and how they plan to overcome it and when uh, the launch will again be scheduled. That's right, uh, Srishti. You know, as ISRO chief said, that they will go into the technicalities to find out as to what went wrong. Uh, if I also can ask you, Srishti, you, you, you spoke a bit about uh, the benefits that uh, we could get uh, uh, through this mission. If you can just uh, elaborate on that, what could be the benefits that India could have gotten if it was a successful mission? Uh, yes, uh, Arun. So, uh, like I was saying, this is an Earth observation. This was an Earth observation satellite, EOS-09. And EOS-08, we launched last year in August. And it had a mission life of uh, five years, during which it was supposed to provide uh, remote uh, sensing data. And this data is very crucial for various sectors, uh, uh, you know, because it you know provides uh, the data for the entire country. And uh, we have launched uh, se several remote sensing satellites in the past as well, like, you know, the Cartosat series and the uh, RISAT series. Now, this one had a synthetic aperture radar, you know, to provide uh, uh, radar imaging uh, data. What was really important in this case was that this, this would have provided data for uh, day and night, you know, in all weather conditions uh, for the next five years. Another important thing that ISRO did this uh, with this mission was that it provided uh, the you know it, uh, additional fuel so that once the mission life is completed, then the satellite would fall uh, you know uh, uh, it, uh, it would fall uh, it would splash down into the ocean without uh, leading to any debris in the space. Remember, ISRO has already committed to create a space uh, free uh, sorry debris free space debris free. Uh, missions in the future as well. So what happens is once the satellite has completed its operations, it would again fall back into the ocean without leading to any debris. So there was uh, various uh, important aspects of this mission. And uh, uh, I'm sure ISRO will look forward to completing this mission in uh, near future and achieve all these capabilities. All right, Srishti, just stay with me. Uh, we have a reaction of the ISRO chief. We'll listen to it, then I'll come back to you. 